Have you thought about going back to work? According to our survey, 60% of us have decided not to work as an Uber or Lyft driver during the pandemic. But now the economy is starting to warm up. <clears throat> have you thought about going back to work? I have, and I've got four questions I've been asking myself to help me determine if uh, it makes sense. And I'm gonna share those four questions with you during this video. And stick around, I'll share with you the number one consideration that I have when I think about coming back to drive for Uber or for Lyft. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. It is one o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday and it's like 90 degrees outside. So instead of my normal coffee, I'm drinking, uh, these are really good, San Pellegrino Limonata. Mm. All right, let's get into it. Background. Not too long ago, I used to get up at 3.15 in the morning. I'd be in my car by 3.45. I'd be picking up a donut, a cup of coffee at Rolling Pin Donut in San Bruno. I'd be picking up passengers at four o'clock, taking dreary-eyed, sleepy passengers to the airport. Six or seven, I started drinking very caffeinated people to work downtown San Francisco. I'd drive till about 10, take a break, things slowed down, get my coffee, my Starbucks, vanilla sweet cream cold brew, of course. <clears throat> drive a little bit more, take lunch. Sometimes I'd work out, take a little break, come back, hit the afternoon rush, be done around seven. Did that five or six days a week, worked like 50, 60 hours, and I loved it. I was making money. Everything was good. Now I'm thinking, so much has changed. Do I want to go back to being a driver? So let's jump into the four questions. Question number one, of course, is, is it safe? Well, we do know that both Uber and Lyft are telling us that we're going to have to wear masks. You may decide you want to wear these uh, safety gloves, you know? Keep your fingers away from, uh, I don't know how doctors do it. It's not so easy to get all the fingers lined up, especially when you're wearing a mask and, it's, and you're feeling like hot. There we go. Okay, so you got gloves and then you got your basic, your hand sanitizer, all right? You got all your, all your stuff, but are you still safe? Dr. Fauci says that this is good for preventing. So if I were sick, I'm not spewing out, you know, the stuff. It's all getting caught in the mask. But what else do we know? We know that people can have this virus for one to two days and they don't have any symptoms, but they're still putting out, you know, they're contagious. So that means 10 to 15 to 20 people a day getting in and out of your car, some of them can be contagious. These masks are not 100% effective. I don't care if I'm wearing one and they're wearing one, we're still in this exposed, in this contained environment of a metal box. And then if you get it, uh, you may not be so concerned about yourself, but then you breathe on somebody else, family members could get sick. These are big questions that you gotta ask yourself regarding the safety of driving, both for yourself and for the people in your life. So question number one, is it safe? Question number two, no, I don't need to wear this anymore. Take off the gloves. Will there be demand for rideshare driving the way it used to be? I say, I don't think so. Think about it. I saw this Washington Post article and it said 38 million people have filed for unemployment. And if you read the article, it says, some economists said the new data should offer a cautionary tale to policymakers day after the Labor Department reported that roughly 38 million Americans have filed for unemployment benefits over the past nine weeks. Absent additional federal aid, especially targeting the hardest hit industries and states, the job losses could worsen, experts say, inflicting hard to erase economic hardship on workers and their families. So it people got to spend money to use Uber and Lyft. So there's 38, 40 million coming, you know, a lot of people without jobs. So that's one factor. Now, all those people, a lot of those people are gonna be looking for work. Well, becoming an Uber or Lyft driver is a way that, that someone can make money. There's a very low uh, barrier to entry. So given the same amount of pings, and now there's this lot more drivers who want those pings, that's less pings per drivers. The other thing to consider is that um, a lot of these companies um, <clears throat> are embracing uh, the work at home model. So we've seen here 
Uh, this article, it says that Facebook, Apple, Twitter, and Microsoft are embracing work at home. That means less people are going to be needing rides to get to work. So that's going to reduce demand. And all those unemployed people don't have as much money to go out, you know, on the uh, night on the town, to go out to a bar, um, to go out to events. All of these things are tamped down. So I think demand is going to be uh, way less than we used to see, which means you're going to have to work a lot harder to make the same kind of money. Number three is, is it even worth it to work? Are you getting enough money with unemployment that it doesn't make sense? Last time I worked, I worked three days, uh, a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, averaged about 11 hours a day. I made about uh, $1,000, spent about 100 in gas, 100 for a place to stay. You know, I, I, I risked my life, you know, 30 hours of driving on the road, you can get into an accident, stressful, you know, the impact on my body, and I cleared about $800. I can sit on my butt at home and make $1,050 until the end of July, $1,050 per week with unemployment and um, the bonus $600. Now, the government, it seems like they're going to have to extend that at least another three months uh, because this uh, pandemic has really decimated the economy. So if you can make that kind of money just sitting at home or you can go out and risk you know, getting into an accident and all the expenses that come with it. Does that make sense for you to leave? Um, or does it still make sense for you to go out and, and work? And number four, has your plan B become your plan A? So, you know me, I talk a lot about having a plan B. And hopefully during the last two to three months that you haven't been working, you've been, you know, researching and figuring out what you could do to earn more money than you were making as a rideshare driver and doing something you would enjoy more. So you got to ask yourself that question. Does it even make sense for you if you have something else that you can do uh, to go out and, and drive? The other thing to think about is if you got benefits come, let's say it does end in July, to the end of July, you've still got the rest of May, all of June, and all of July to get your plan B strong so that you can have that become your plan A. So has your plan B become your plan A? That's the fourth question. So what are the key takeaways here? Well, you gotta, think, you gotta think about what's really important to you. For me, my key consideration is can I travel? And as I get older, the more I want to travel. I can't obviously drive and travel. Driving for Uber and Lyft in San Francisco is not a job where I can be traveling, right? I can't do it from the road. So that's my number one consideration. And for that reason, plus the health, you know, I just don't think it's safe. I don't think there's going to be as much demand. Um, I am making a 1,050 um, in unemployment. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make any sense at all. And my plan B has become my plan A. But these are questions you got to ask yourself. This is a big decision. You know, are you going to go back and risk, risk it um, going back driving for Uber and Lyft? Or are you going to find something else to do? Or maybe you're just going to take taking this time off to just recharge your batteries um, until you run out of money. There's just a lot of different scenarios. But what I've tried to do in this video is share with you four major concerns that I have when I look at, am I going to return to the road? It's, it's going to be a lot different. People are going to be wearing masks. People can't sit in the front seat. Demand is going to be low. Um, just... Uh, the good old days are going to become the good old days. Uh, what happened three years ago, four years ago, those days are over. So uh, it was good while it lasted. And for people who are just getting started, these are going to be the good old days. In two or three years down the road, they're going to look back on now and say, wow, those were the good old days. So it's all your perspective. It's all, all a matter of, of your perspective. All right, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. This is Jay Crater. I want to say thank you very much for watching the video. If you liked it, please check that little finger that's up. That'll allow more people to see the video. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, by all means, subscribe. We'd love to have you as part of the team. We try and bring you great content five times a week. And, uh, and check off for notifications, and that way you'll know whenever uh, we're going to do a YouTube Live. And uh, you can come on and ask questions, and we'll answer as many questions as we can during those YouTube lives. Go ahead and have a great day. Be safe out there.